I'm getting ready to do some primering in the back bedrooms, and um, I've got my roller here. And what I'm doing, I just took some duct tape, and I'm just going over it it's just to get off some of the loose uh, fibers, some like little lint pieces that might be sticking up. Um, so hopefully they won't get in our paint. And also, if you know your roller has a lot of the little pieces that hang over the edge, you can always take some scissors and snip them off like this. So when you're rolling, it doesn't leave that little edge on your um, paint, you know, with where you're painting. So I'm just uh, going through, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see, it takes a lot of the lint off the roller, the little pieces, and you don't want to get all those in your paint. Just go over it a few times. You don't have to go crazy with it, but hopefully that will help. Okay. Yeah, it took off a good bit. Julie made her first mistake in this whole project. She gave me a paintbrush. Could you imagine that? Hey, you gotta help too. I ain't very good at this. You're just like wrong. I know. It's just wrong, so it's not gonna hurt anything. Alright, we have our two rooms, two bedrooms have been uh, painted, primer. That's a primer sealer on there. We got one coat on them. Well, Julie got one coat. I'm nothing more than a corner guy. Maybe I paint the corners and help her with the ceiling. I had a couple places up on the ceiling I had to touch up. You can see them in the middle of the screen in that room. So whatever we see we need touched up, we'll just do it right after the primer's on. You can see a lot more when the primer's on. Julie's in here in the closet, working on that inside that closet. And we're going to try to get the bathroom primed tonight. And possibly the hallway, it depends on if we feel like it, you know. Uh, if we have enough light. It's yeah. kind of dark in here, it's hard to get to see. It is definitely dark. In all these rooms, it's dark. Uh, once we get the paint on, we can start putting the uh, outlets in and the lights in. So, but we're waiting for all the paint to go up first, and then we'll do that. But uh, this room here is going to be the the biggest room, but it's sure going to look a lot different, even with just primer on it. So, that's what we're working on: primer, and then we'll get to painting. All right, we're on our second room tonight. Uh, we got the bathroom done. It's starting to get dark, so we lose a lot of light. Julie's got a couple lights in here to give us enough. And she's down in there. This is hard down here. Yeah. I'm trying to get behind all these lights. We're going to try to at least get these two rooms done tonight. And then uh, maybe tomorrow we get on the hallway, huh, Joel? I don't know if we can get all that done or not, but we're doing pretty good. I got, I got the ceiling all done. I've been doing the ceilings and trying to go around the top for Joel, and then uh, she does pretty much the rest. The closets turned out actually pretty good, and we spent the least amount of time in them. Uh, <laughs> and they look pretty decent inside. But uh, this room over here, we got 
the bathroom got rid of some of the purple it's brightening it up getting rid of that purple I don't like that purple and it's hard to cover so we're just going to try to get this uh, room finished up tonight and then call it a night all right, this is our third day of primering. We can only get so much done per day after work. We got the two back rooms done, and we got the two, the bathroom and the laundry room done. Now Julie's just working her way down the hallway. And I'm actually still using that big uh, potato mixer to mix the paint up too, which uh, makes it a lot easier. We don't have to sit there and try to shake the jug. We just use that big mixer, working out pretty well. So it's coming along, it's just coming along slow. The, the drywall wants to suck up this uh, primer pretty good, but it don't look too bad once it's, you know, you got the coat of primer on. I'm sure when we get to doing the paint, it's gonna look really nice. So that's where we're at. We're gonna see what we can get done today. Hopefully we can get some done in this kitchen and living room. Hopefully. We should be able to, huh, Joel? I hope, depends on our necks and... Yeah. <laughs> This is really hard on your necks and yeah. your neck and your shoulders, so. Yeah. Alright, so I just got done doing the ceiling. Julie's starting on the walls in the kitchen here. And she did get the closet done inside. And uh, I think it's looking pretty good. We're going to do one good coat of primer on it. That's that primer sealer on the whole thing. We may do the purple twice. We don't know yet. We're going to see what it looks like. And what kind of paint or primer we have left, if we have enough, maybe we'll do a second coat on the primer sealer on the purple. Now, it is a pretty nice day here in southwestern PA. Uh, as you can see, we got the door open. I think it's around 60 some, right, Joel? Yeah, it's supposed to be at least 60, I think. Today. So it's around 60 some degrees, and we got the door open and the heater off, and uh, just. Uh, trying to absorb some of the fresh air. Uh, you know, this place has been closed up all winter long, and uh, we just want to get a little bit of air flowing through it. It is nice that it's not so cold or freezing to death, like it has been the last, what, four weeks? Yeah. Four or five weeks, it's been really cold. It actually got down to eight below zero here, so we are enjoying it, and we're gonna try to get our one coat on here on this whole thing tonight, maybe? Yeah, then we can start all over again painting. So we're going to do two coats of paint. Yeah. Uh, or as many as it takes. Yeah. We'll uh, we're hoping two coats will do it, but... And we're painting white over white, so it's not... It shouldn't be too bad. It's an eggshell white. It should hide a lot of our imperfections, hopefully. What imperfections? Uh, well, we had a couple, <laughs> but only we know where they're at. Yeah, we're not going to tell No. We're not going to tell you. If you tell you where the bad spots are, then you're going to look at them. So if you come into our place, you're going to have to find them yourself. So we're going to continue painting, and it, it is starting to look better. You know, just getting that coat on the ceiling definitely makes a difference, and I think the paint's going to make a huge difference. So I guess we'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right. Julie is on the last wall. We got the ceiling all done, all the walls. This is the very last wall, and it's getting late. As you can see, it's dark outside now, and it's about 8.19. So, it makes for a long day for me, because I usually start my day out at about four o'clock in the morning, and it's 8.19 now, so. But we're gonna get this wall done. It's just we gotta keep going and going and going and going until we get her done. So I guess we'll see you guys in the morning. We're gonna shut down. Julie's just gonna finish up this wall. And then uh, we'll start painting tomorrow, the back bedrooms. Then we gotta do two coats of paint on the whole entire structure. And we're just, like I said, gonna use the white uh, eggshell paint. So. See you guys tomorrow. All right, we're starting on our paint. Julie's in the first bedroom. We'll work our way through the bedrooms on into the kitchen and dining room again. So 
The closets are a little bit tight. Julie, you having a rough time in there? Yeah. So get the closets done in there and I think we'll be okay. Because everything opens up a little bit. Yeah, they're really small, so they're hard to paint. Like I have to lean up against the back wall just to paint this wall. So hopefully we can get uh, this done and we're hoping to get the painting done. Once we get the painting done, we can start putting our outlets and stuff in. Get some electric flowing through this place. All right, we'll see you guys in a bit. I'll show you what we get taken care of. Last night, we did get uh, the kitchen and living room, the first coat of primer on it. And it does turn out, it turned out really nice. It turned out really good. So it's got its first coat on the walls. And what I'm doing is uh, I'm going around finding little spots that, you know, you might see a screw hole or a little crease or something in it. I'm going around touching them up. So it's easier to see everything once you get that coat of primer on it. But while it's wet is when you see it the most. So as soon as you put it on, you try to look and remember where all the places you need to go and touch up. Now we're not too much worried about this wall here in the kitchen. Of course, we're gonna have cabinets on the top, cabinets on the bottom, so it's not gonna really matter as long as we get them sealed up. We put the putty on there. We didn't really sand it that good. Just where the backsplash goes, you can see the lines. There's a line up here and a line down there. That shows you where the backsplash will be. So we cleaned that up a little bit and it don't have to be perfect either because there's gonna be a backsplash there. So that's what we got done last night. And uh, today uh, we'll work as long as we possibly can trying to get them two rooms painted. If we can get them two painted, it'd be really nice and maybe do something else maybe, but we'll see. Depends on how tired we are. All right, this is day two on the paint. We got both the bedrooms done last night and we got the ceiling done. And uh, we just got finished up with the bathroom. And that purple covered pretty good, huh, Joel? Yeah, we're still going to do one more coat. Yeah, we'll do another coat on it, but it but did. It covered pretty good, yeah. I mean, for being purple. I, I thought maybe we should have put another coat of primer, but I think the paint is covering it good. The paint has primer in it. And, uh, yeah, we're using a, a Valspar paint. Here's the paint we're using on the walls. There, let's see, let me see. I'll show you the primer first. This is the primer. We'll do the primer first. Oh, there is the primer we used. Keels, drywall, interior, primer. It's got primer and sealer in it. Right there. Uh, we put one coat of that on and now we're putting the this is Valspar uh, paint. It's an eggshell and it has primer in it too. So that may help us out a little bit too. We're on our second uh, bucket of paint and we used one. It doesn't seem to be going very far, does no, it? No, it's not going as far as the primer did. No. Now the primer went, we did the whole building within probably one and a half buckets, yeah. About one and a half got so we already used the whole bucket of Yeah. Paint. I think the paint's going on a little heavier. Yeah. Which that's okay. We'll we'll if we have to get a couple more buckets or whatever we will. Yeah. But uh hopefully by tomorrow tomorrow hopefully we can get this room done, the biggest room. And uh that's gonna be nice getting this finished up here. So tonight, like I said, we're gonna to try to get both them rooms and the walls in the hallway. We did the ceiling in the corners, so now we're gonna to try to do the walls. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we got enough energy to do it. <laughs> it's been a long day, or shall I say long afternoon. Julie's on the last wall now. We're gonna finish that wall. Uh, out on the hallway and then we're going to call it a night and tomorrow we'll start fresh and hopefully we can get the kitchen and the living room done and uh, then we get to start all over again. One more coat. 
one more coat. We'll start in the back bedroom. This bow spar is covering really good, ain't it, Joel? Yeah, it is, actually. It's, it's covering it's really, really good. Yeah, the purple was a big thing. We thought maybe we'd have to do some more on it, but I mean, you can see a little bit of it coming through, but yeah, I think I mean, so too. The first coat covered really nice, so I think a second one should should do it. That's all I'm doing, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Three coats is a lot of paint for a whole house. My arm is ready to fall off. Unless that's what you do for a living. I'm, sh <laughs> I'm sure we could have rented a sprayer, but that's more money you got to put out, so, well, you know. You know the house we take watches all over the place. Yeah. Okay, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Sometime. You missed the spot. Uh-huh. I agree. <laughs> you want the roller? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're doing a good job. <laughs> I feel like my arms weigh like a thousand pounds. Uh -huh. This room here is the hardest because it's so big. Although I do half of it and take a break. Then come back and do the other half. Because it does hurt your arms, that's for sure. Yeah, the ceilings are the hard part. But it looks good. I think the next coat is really going to be really nice. Oh, yeah. Just that first coat is covered really nice, so the second one should... I don't know. I think that box for paint is pretty good. Mm-hmm. And it's not really that expensive compared to other paints. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I told Julie... I said, you better pick that camera up and show these people I'm doing painting too. <laughs> I'm usually the one grabbing the camera and videotaping her. <laughs> but I am. I'm painting too. Yeah, he's doing the hard part, the ceiling. <laughs> Although I'm not really that good at it. But... Hey, as long as I don't have to do it. <laughs> Julie, don't you ever change them clothes? These are my painting clothes. Yeah, they're not on your hand. You just, you know, don't even need a rag. <laughs> you do the same thing with your hat because there's paint all over your hat too. I know. I accidentally touched the ceiling. <laughs> not today, right? Today? Yeah. Well, it wasn't dry. You got paint in your hair and your hat. You're not tired, are you? Yeah, I was running out of steam. <laughs> I was like, oh, can I finish? I don't know. So that's our first coat of paint all done. Oh, one more coat to go. Hope I can make it. <laughs> oh, you ready to take a break? Yes. Definitely take a break. So we only have one more coat to go and Julie will be happy. Yes. It's been a lot of work. My I think killing me. I think between the drywall mud, 
The yeah. sanding and the painting. Yeah, this has literally been a pain in the neck. Mm. My neck is killing me. So, we got the whole room done today. One coat on this room here. Believe it or not, it's a lot of work. Oh yeah. <laughs> it takes it, a lot longer than we thought. It was funny because Julie told us all that she could paint this in one day. Hey, shut up. Well, you're not 20 anymore, honey. Hey. You know, if we was 20 years old, I think we could do it. Especially tell everybody my age, you know. Well, just because you're 22, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Well. Just saying. But uh, it is a lot of work, and uh, uh, we figured we saved a lot of money just by doing what we had to do, and uh, we got it done. It looks good. We need a good massage after all this work. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow we'll start fresh in the back bedrooms, and we're going to work our way clear back out to here and do another coat, and uh, then we'll be done. We get to start on all the electrical. Right, we get to put... It's yep, the lights. the lights will go in, uh, the outlets will go in, all the switches, uh, ceiling fans. The doors. Yeah, the and then we're going to do doors. We think doors next. We'll see. Not sure. So, I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow morning.